So a summer camp counselor wants to find a length x and feet across a lake as given in the diagram. And the lengths AB, EB, BD, and CD measure 1,800 feet, 1,400 feet, 700 feet, and 800 feet respectively. Um, segments AC and segments DE intersect at this point B, and we're given that the angle AEB, which is this angle here, and CDB, which would be this angle here, have the same measure. We want to figure out what's the value of x. Okay, so I've got my, my diagram here. Let me go ahead and fill in the, the values. So, okay, so we're told that AB measures 1,800 feet. We're told that EB measures 1,400 feet. BD is 700 feet, so that's 700. And then we also, uh, also are given that CD is 800 feet. So again, we're told that the angle AEB, which is this angle here, and CDB, which would be this angle here, have the same measure. Now notice this angle here, the angle EBA and CBD, those are going to be vertical angles, so those also have similar measures. So the idea is now, since um, two of the interior, since two of the angles are congruent, we know that these angles or these triangles are similar. So we can set up a proportion to solve for the missing value. So we can say that CD divided by x. So again, I'm kind of looking at this angle, the side opposite that's CD, and for this triangle, I'm looking at the same angle but the opposite side that's x. That's going to equal BD. So BD is the, um, the side length opposite this angle that we didn't label. And we can divide that by EB, which will be, again, if we look at the other triangle, if we look at the angle that we didn't label, if we look at the side opposite, that'll be EB. And now we can simply fill in those values. So we said CD, that was equal to 800 divided by X. BD has a length of 700. And EB, we said, had a length of 1,400. So now all we have to do is simply solve this for x, and we'll have our solution. So let me take, uh, I guess, just one or two extra steps here for the algebra. One thing we can do is we can simply flip both fractions. So we can write this as x over 800 equals 1,400 divided by 700. And then to solve for x, we can simply multiply both sides by 800. So we'll have 1,400 over 700 multiplied by 800. Well, 1,400 divided by 700, we can cancel out the zeros. 14 divided by 7 is 2. So we have 2 multiplied by 800. And that's going to give us a length of 1,600 feet. So again, the idea in this one is just recognizing that these two triangles are in fact similar, and then setting up the correct, correct proportions.